Well, I can say a few weeks ago, Dennis and I were counting 423 days to the elections. Now it's just about 108 days, is it not, Dennis Barberi Wadam? Yeah, the election is almost here. Absolutely. And people are prepping. Others are yet to make up their minds. Mm -hmm. Others have made up their minds already. The political parties are also trying to win others over. So, yeah, it's a very active political season. And as we are hearing manifestos here and there, we have already had one... I mean, the youth manifesto for the NDC, we've had the main for the MPP. Mm -hmm. Now looking forward to having the main for the NDC. The other parties are also warming up to present their manifestos. But one of the key things um, that has dominated conversations over the last few days has got to do with the price of data. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's been a topical issue every day. Because it's one of the things that keep most of us going. True. Some say data is life. So, Absolutely. of course, it's only appropriate that, I mean, it dominates conversations. But when you look at the MPP manifesto in 2020, I think we've done this before, mm -hmm. when the NCA issued a statement to say that um, Ghana is among the countries with the cheapest uh, data, even though they could not on their own have any uh, assessment of the situation except to use a foreign document. Mm. But, of course, this was what was promised in the 2020 manifesto of the MPP to the effect that when they came into power in 2020 to do the four more years, they were going to um, leverage on existing digital infrastructure and to make the necessary investments and policies to establish firmly Ghana as a digital services hub of, of West Africa. Now to the specifics, they said they were going to reduce the high cost of data in Ghana. So by 2020, they themselves had acknowledged that the cost of data in Ghana was very high. Hmm. They went on to provide some I mean statistics that while the cost of data has gone down significantly by 40 percent from 1.56 uh, dollars per one gig in 2019 to 0.94 in 2020 and then they intended to place and that place Ghana has set cheapest in Africa the goal was for us to be among the cheapest I see now this was as of 2020 yes this was as of 2020 uh-huh anyway so I mean Fast forward, you and I can attest to the fact that the cost of data has never come down for you and I. Absolutely. This is one I mean, bundle, if you just... have ever gone to buy data and it is cheaper than it used to be, just let us know. If not for anything at all, there's a case in point where we can see that data has actually become more expensive. True. And that has to do with the MTN uh, bundle, which has significantly been reduced because of the SMP issue, which the N uh, NCA had explained. Be that as it may, it has only come to complicate the matters for Ghanaians and to make more, um, life more difficult for users of data. And so this is on page 172? Yes, of the 2020 manifesto. <laughs> but of course, that is not even what we are saying. Mm -hmm. There's been a recent pronouncement which seemed to pass verdict on this particular one. I see. To suggest that we are still suffering with the cost of data and that data is even very expensive in the country. Mm. I'll get to that shortly. Sure. But over the weekend, when we were in Takradi to cover the launch of the MPP 2024 manifesto, uh, our colleague Mawena Egbeta caught up with the communications minister, Esla Osu, who spoke about data and what government has in place, I mean, to reduce the cost of data. Let's listen to her. Then we'll come to the main issue. Mm -hmm. So working to ensure that in unserved and underserved areas, people have access to affordable internet we do have to factor in the cost of utilities and the cost of providing that service so we're working with the network operators to continue to bring down the cost of data or to maintain it at an affordable level so everything we can do we are doing and so i urge Ghanaians to be patient but right now in the sub-region the cost of data in this country is lower than most and we really have to also look at enabling the service providers to extend their network to as many people who don't have it now as possible. So the fact is that the cost of data in this country mm -hmm. is lower than most in the sub-region. Of course, and I'm not surprised that is coming from the Minister for Communications Why are you because not surprised? a while ago we had this statement from the NCA, which amongst other things explained the implications of the MTM becoming an SMP and also ending that statement by saying. Now look at this point, that data report published by cable.co.uk and reviewed by NCA ranked Ghana third cheapest data in Africa and 
second in West Africa. And this is a, a third party data. Data, yes. Which they say they reviewed. Exactly. But, but when you take a critical look at this data which places Ghana here, you can understand why we are where we are. This is because, and I recall the last time we were having this conversation, you asked me why they, they had to convert it to dollar terms instead of Absolutely. CD terms. And I was explaining that it's because they had to do a comparative analysis between the various countries with different currencies. Okay. However, what that also means is that any time our, our currency depreciates, it does appear that the cost of data our data more. looks cheaper. So if you want to drill this into this particular data, you realize that the only reason why we are here is because our CD keeps depreciating against the dollar. So it's not that. So the for instance, or the reflection yeah, of so the So for instance, we have three major networks in, the, in Ghana, mm -hmm. and one gig of data costs 10 CDs. If on the average data is 10 CDs, you need to convert that to dollar terms. So if the dollar is 10 CDs, it means that the average cost of data will be one CD. So if the dollar now is 15. So if the dollar is 15, it means that it will come down. I see. So this in itself does not explain our situation. At right. best, NCA should have been telling us in 2020, how much was the cost of one gig? In 2021, how much did we buy it? 2022, how much? Yeah. Factor out the depreciation and other things. Mm. But of course, that's a different matter well, altogether. I, I find it curious. That but the this NCA... was before the vice president and flag of the MPP actually spoke about his vision okay. in that policy document. Now, let's listen to what Baumia said exactly about the plan that he has or what they put in the policy statement regarding reducing cost of data. Furthermore, to become a digital hub in Africa, Ghana's telecoms industry needs more investment. The cost of data for the ordinary Ghanaian has become too expensive. It goes against the very ethos of our digitalization journey. We commit to working actively with industry players in setting clear policy guidelines. He, he makes the point that the cost of data has become expensive. Yes. That's contrary to the NCA's position. And that's contrary to what the communication minister had said just moments before the vice president spoke. So in this verdict, we will not defer to the Ghanaian public. I mean, the verdict is right there. It's with the vice president. The vice president said so he's speaking it has reality. become more expensive for the ordinary Ghanaian. So what that therefore means for this particular promise it means that if the promise was reduced to make it affordable for Ghanaians, now we are told that it has become more expensive for the ordinary Ghanaian. Mm. I mean, it goes without saying that. And, and he, he accepts that, that it's at the ethos of this digitalization drive that we're talking about. And I perfectly agree with him on that. if you can't buy data... I mean, it gets very difficult for you to engage digitally. And that, for him, is his vision. What's the 2024 promise? So 2024, the after saying that, then he makes the promise that we will ensure nationwide internet connectivity, which is very key, reduce cost of data, and make devices affordable for all. I mean, if it, all these are achieved, then the digital drive is on the right way. I mean, and, the right path. Until then, the communications minister is speaking a different language, and the vice president. And the NCA, they're all on, 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 on different wavelengths. It's, it's, it's a cocktail of what? Yeah. So, I mean, that's what we have by way of anyway, manifesto check today. And, and it's, it's as clear as the, it can get, is it not? And you make direct references to the most verifiable information that everybody can watch and, yeah. and go and, and look out for themselves. Dennis, appreciate you. Thank you so much for joining us here on Manifesto Chess on your election command center.